Hey, what's going on, guys? It's that guy, Witch Guy, Shy Guy DY. Welcome back to Pokemon Yellow. In the last episode, we left Pallet Town and made our all our made our way to uh, Pewter City. And in this episode, we're going to just carry on. Um, off screen, I leveled up my Pokemon a little bit. So Metapod is currently on level nine. I wanted to keep it at level nine so you could see it evolve. Uh, Nidoran Male, I got it up to level 12, uh, where it learns Double Kick, because that's necessary for the gym. Pikachu, I got up to level 14, because uh, it's not going to be doing any fighting in the next gym, and Pidgey is the same. Uh, I'm not going to be doing any fighting for a while, so I just got it up to level 15. Uh, it's very, and I've got the turbo function on my emulator. Uh, so I use that when I'm grinding and it can you can get very carried you can get carried away essentially um, Just leveling up and you, you eventually become I think There was a pokeball here. Oh, hey Pikachu. How you doing? Pikachu is doing awesome uh, They used there was there was a pokeball there in the newer gen games but uh, We're just gonna get right to it. We're just gonna go to the gym And Kick Brock's rock hard ass. Stop right there, kid. You're still light years from facing Brock. Uh, one of the iconic lines in the Pokemon series. <laughs> I'm still sick. I still got a little bit of a cold. It's going away, which is great. Um, but, you know, still. Like the latter stages of the cold, where it just lingers on and on and on. And you just get annoyed by it. So I put out Metapod first because I want him to get uh, some experience. Uh, like I said, I'm not going to be using Butterfree too much. I'll use it for a little bit because it's got you know the status moves and it's got like psychic moves, so it will be handy early on against like, poison types or whatever. But other than that, I'm not really planning on using it in the long run. Probably when I get to the next town, I'll deposit it. Um, because we'll be getting plenty more, um, Pokemon, uh, coming up soon. Which you'll see, hopefully see in this episode. Sandshrew. Um. I'm gonna keep this episode shorter. It's not gonna be as long as the, the first one. Uh, because, you know, the first one was obviously, you know, the start of the game. So, it needs to be a little bit longer. So I'm going to keep this one probably at 30 minutes and I'll keep it like that for the, for the time being. Once again, like, once again, let me know uh, what length you'd like to see if you're enjoying the longer form or if you want to keep me to keep them shorter. Uh, let me know in the comments and I'll see what I can do. Obviously, um, I'm recording this before the first one actually comes out. Um, we heal Nidoran real quick. Probably give it another one. I've got plenty. I never used any. And now it's time for Brock. I'm Brock, Computer City's gym leader. I believe in rock hard defense and determination. That's why all my Pokemon are the rock type. Do you still want to challenge me? Fine then, show me your best. No problem. Come on, Brocky boy, let's do this. Brock wants to fight. All right, let's go. This is gonna be a piece of piss. If you've got a fighting type Pokemon on your team, this is a piece of piss. That That's obviously recommended for Pokemon Yellow, um, because your start is electric. Which, so it's recommended you get a Nidoran, teach a double kick or a, a manky so you can teach a low kick and karate chop even though karate I don't think karate chop um, is a actual fighting type move or it do, it's not super effective against rock types um, I don't know why that's that's I think it's a normal type in this game I'm not sure why but they obviously fix that later on but for some reason in gen 1 it's not classified as a fighting type and Metapod's level 10. So we can... And Nidoran's level 13. Um, I'll probably give it a po potion. I mean, I risk getting hit by Bind here. Because... 
bind is an annoying, an annoying attack in Gen 1. Very annoying, because you can't attack at all. Thank god it didn't use Screech. And just gotta wither it down. I mean, my Pokemon aren't that tough. But, oh god. That's what I wasn't, I wasn't hoping for that. And hopefully it doesn't use Bide either. Because I really don't want it to use Bide. Because if it uses Bide and it doesn't die and I don't kill it, I'm doomed. Uh, come on, one more. There we go. First badge is mine. And I didn't get a level up. Okay. I took you for granted as proof of your victory. Here's the boulder badge. Yay! This is the only time this happens in the game where I receive the badge in battle. That's an official Pokemon League badge. It's better as Pokemon become more powerful. Technic Flash can never be used anytime. Not that I'd want to use it. Metapod is evolving! Yay! Butterfree! I love Butterfree. Butterfree is awesome. I, lo I, I love Butterfree, but like I said, it's... In the game, it's qualities, like, it's... Usage is limited in game, but I still love Butterfree. This is awesome. This game contains a Pokemon. Uh, yeah. yeah, it's got Bite in it. You know, the move that you didn't use in game, and I probably won't use now, so I'm probably just gonna sell it. Um, I've got no, I've got real no use for Bite, so I'm just gonna put it in the. I'm just gonna sell it, rather. I was gonna say put it in the box, but I've really got no use for it, so I'm just gonna sell it. Um, and I'll probably buy some more stuff, buy some more Pokeballs. Uh, but I'll not buy as many. I'll buy five. Buy some potions, probably four. Um, a couple of antidotes, even though I don't really need them. Burn heals, don't need. Awakenings, don't need. Paralyzed heals, don't need. Um, I'll buy an escape rope just in case. That should leave me with three dollars. Okay, no more buying things. Um, I know I get an escape rope down the. Uh, I get an escape rope pretty soon, but um, it's better to have one on hand just in case you need it. I don't think I. Know, I don't think I will. Um. Because if I get through this next dungeon, your Pokemon need to be about, let's say, level 20 by the time you um, you fight the next gym. Oh, Pikachu does anyway, because Pikachu is the only one I'm going to be using in the next gym. Because it's the only one who's really super effective. Uh, other than that, there's not really, there's nothing else to do. I'm not going to go to the museum, I'm not going to bore you with exploration, because you guys know how this game goes. So I'm just going to progress, move on, and fight this whole shit ton of trainers. You looked at me, didn't you? Um, yeah. <laughs> Obviously. <laughs> I, uh, I want to fight you. That's what happens in this game. You don't understand overworld mechanics. Go, Butterfree. Um, okay, confusion. See how good it actually is. Well, it's not too bad. I'm so I'm glad Gust isn't a flying type move in this game. Oh no, sand attack! I hate so much. But yeah, there you go. And it's critical, random critical again. Ah, uh, Pidgey. All right, I'll switch out to Pikachu for this one. I'm not gonna train. I'm not gonna like train up. I'm gonna sort of share it around. Fight like whoever can whoever can fight best fights, and if I need to, I'll just grind off screen because that's what I would do anyway. I always do that just if I need to. Hey, I met you in Viridian Forest. Yeah, I kicked your ass. I think Pikachu kicked your ass. What have you got, Caterpie? You still haven't evolved. It's level ten. Why haven't you evolved it yet? Why haven't you... I don't get, like, NPC, like, AI logic in this game. They've got 
a level 10 Caterpie. They can easily evolve into they can easily evolve this into a Butterfree. They've got confusion and they'll be much better off. Weedle. Okay, I'll keep it on him because he's super effective against that. See, again, level 10. Like, I wonder if there's any Weedles in this game. Oh, I want to catch one so I can get Beedrill. I don't think he can. Oh, uh, yeah. Unless you can, like, they're very rare when you do encounter them. I'll check the Pokedex after this battle and see if I can go catch a Weedle. And if I can, I'll go get one. Um, even if it means I have to grind, I will go for one. Um, switch out. Uh, give Nidoran a fight. Four for since the gym. Let's go. Horn attack. Horn attack's really good. I enjoy this move. And I'm gonna keep Nidoran on my team for a while because it's uh, you know really good. Like I said in the last episode. It's the physical beast, so it's going to be on my team in the long run, I think. Part poison, part ground. I could probably teach it some really good moves. Um, yep, alright. It's done. Oh, I was going to check the Pokedex for uh, for Weedle. Um, there it is. Area. Area unknown, which means it cannot be caught in this game, which is a shame. Because as much as people shit on Beedrill, you know, it can be quite handy early on. And apparently it's good against uh, psychic types uh, with its bug moves. Even though bug moves are, you know, weak as shit. Like overall, it's still good against psychics. If you have faith in a Beedrill, I suggest training it. <laughs> and training it hard. <laughs> For... The psychic type gym, which we are mile we we are ages away from now. Oh shit! I was hoping to finish it off. Okay, Pikachu, it's your turn. Just give him a quick attack. Boom! I learned quick Pikachu learned quick attack off screen. And I think I'll learn double team at this stage, or is it the next level I'll learn double team? Not sure. Thunder wave, so it can't poison me. But as soon as I learn Thunderbolt, I, I can't remember when, I, when Pikachu learns Thunderbolt. I end up getting the TM and just teaching it that instead of it like learning it on its own, which is a bit of a waste, I know. But I, just, like I said, I have no idea when it learns it. Oh god, here comes! Fuck! I hate this move so much. Just, no, oh, thank god. It only lasted two moves. It lasts a lot more, and it can be very, very annoying, especially if you're in a pinch. Alright, is this the guy... Was this... Yeah, this was the guy with the shorts. Are you storing your Pokemon on PC? It's boxing hole 20. He was the shorts guy. Um, yeah, I missed it. Um, I like shorts. They're comfy and easy to wear. Another iconic line from the Pokemon series. Just like Pikachu, just so happy. I kind of do this with every. But why can't every, you know, Pokemon game be like this? I think they did in Heart Gold, Soul Silver. They um, they did that where the the Pokemon on the front of your list is the one that follows you around, which I think is really cool. But didn't do it for anything else. It's the only, um, they introduced, they kind of introduced happiness, the concept of happiness in this as well. It doesn't have any uses, but it's still considered, you know, happiness in its current format. Whereas you evolve, uh, train Pokemon, make them happy, and then they'll evolve. Even though it doesn't affect Pikachu in any way, it's... It, it was still introduced, at least, in this game, but not really developed upon. Um, while this battle's going on, I'm going to check when Pikachu learns. I'm going to hop on my phone, 
I'm gonna learn when Pikachu learns um, Thunder Thunderbolt because I'm actually curious to know now. I don't know if you guys know, Bulbapedia is the best site in the game. Is the best best site in the world for Pokemon. It's the best site for the game. I mean, Gen One. Uh, that's just TMs I can learn. I want to know when it learns Thunderbolt. 26. It doesn't learn it at all in red and blue, which is weird. But it learns learns it at level 26 in yellow, because they've separated it, they've separated it into um, both red, blue, and yellow. Um, and it learns Thunder at level 41, which I probably won't be using. Because Thunder's a great move, but it's very inaccurate, and you only get 10 of them. Whereas Thunderbolt, 100% accurate, still got 95 base power, and you get 15 of them. So, Thunderbolt's more reliable. And even though it's not as powerful, it's more reliable and more, more, um, you can count on it more to actually work. And it will still, like, depending on your, your Pokemon's special attack, it will just be, it will be as effective. And it's still got a good, uh, paralysis rate as well. So you can still get a paralysis out of it. I know Thunder is, I'm pretty sure it's 100% par paralysis. Uh, like every time the, um, the opponent will get paralyzed, but like I said, it's very inaccurate, especially in the earlier gen, in the earlier games, not as reliable, unless you chuck on an X accuracy every battle, which is, which is pointless. So I'm not going to be learning Thunder. It. really learn much. I'll give it a good physical move and then um, it learns agility at level 33 and you don't learn light screen. Light screen's its final move. It learns at level 50. Um, that'll probably be the final move set for Pikachu. So your Thunderbolt and a really good physical move and then your agility and light screen because they're both really handy. And that's basically it, that's all he learns. Unless I get, like, better um, status moves, which I probably won't waste on Pikachu, I'll use on others. But that's probably gonna be its final move set. It stays as Pikachu, you can't evolve it. Because in this game, they make the excuse that, you know, Pikachu just doesn't want to evolve. In a way, this was a big fan service to the anime. This game was made like to be more in association with the anime compared to the other two games. Because in the other games, there is, um, it's not entirely anime based, but it's pretty close. Have I fought you? Yeah, yes I have. Have I fought you? No, I haven't. That look you gave me, it's so intriguing. It's a bit, uh... A bit ominous. What have you got? I'll take you on. Butterfree is kicking ass right now. Should learn some status moves soon. And then... Like I said, I'll get, I'll get rid of it. Um... Probably either at the next Pokemon Center or the next town. I'll get rid of it. I'll, I won't get rid of it. I'll put it in the box. Because... I don't know. I want to level up my other Pokemon more. So I don't want to waste all my experience on Butterfree because then my other Pokemon won't uh, be strong enough for the next gym. Um, if I fought you yet, yeah, probably not. 
Hey, you're not wearing shorts. I never wear shorts. I very rarely wear shorts. I find pants more comfortable. Okay, now I actually do need to switch out. I find pants more comfortable than shorts. I don't know why, pants just feel better. I enjoy, I really enjoy pants. Like, tracksuit pants, or as you uh, in America will call them sweatpants. Um, they're the best thing. Best in, like, best clothes ever. Like, better than shorts, better than jeans, better than cargoes. Like, I'll very rarely wear cargo pants. Because they don't fit me properly. I can never find the perfect clothing for me. Because I'm that unique size. I am a big man. I am, I am, a, I am a fat man. You probably guessed that. But... I am a f I am a larger individual. Um, 130 kilograms, there thereabouts, which is roughly 285 pounds. And it's not like a, a muscly 285 pounds. It's a fat 285 pounds. And because I'm five foot ten as well, so I am that stocky fat looking dude that can never find the right pair of pants unless they're tracksuits unless they're tracksuit pants jeans don't fit me properly I've got a good pair of jeans that are comfortable and they fit me but they're too long and they drag the ends drag on my feet when I walk because I've got flat shoes as well I wear a lot of vans um, I don't wear other types of shoes that much. I only got the one good pair. And even them have got holes in them. <clears throat> I don't have many clothes. I have... I have enough shirts to, you know, sort of get... I have enough shirts. I have enough pants to get me by. And I don't have a decent pair of shoes. Like, the last brand new pair of shoes that I bought were the first pair of Vans that I bought a couple of years ago, um, the, ch like the, the checkered flag, uh, design ones, uh, the slip-ons, they don't have laces, uh, poison powder, um, yes, I will get rid of string shot, it doesn't really matter, it's gonna learn, uh, the status moves over the next couple of levels, metapod, I'm gonna switch out, I'm gonna, I'm gonna give it to Pikachu. Pikachu doesn't fall for a bit. Coming up on half an hour now. Um, I haven't had a decent pair of shoes. Like the last couple of pairs of Vans I've gotten, they were my brother's. And he's actually younger than me. But he's got bigger feet and he's much taller. He's 18 and he's six foot two, six foot three. And he's really skinny. He's kind of, he's not as lanky as, you know, some, like, like, he's not as lanky, but he's still, you know, pretty lanky. Um, get rid of, get rid of Tail Whip, because it really does the same thing. Um, it, instead of lowering their defense, it kind of ups yours. So, not that I'll use it anyway, because it's just, I'm just using, I'm just putting it there. Just so we can learn to move. And I'll move Pikachu here. There's a pair of shoes that I've wanted for a long time now. They are Supras. Um, Sky Top 4 and Society 2. Uh, two different varieties. The Sky Top 4s that I want are gold. So they look freaking awesome and I've wanted them for so long and they're the coolest looking fucking shoe. Anything gold, I just like gold, I don't know why. i got gold everything, my iPhone is gold, ah oh, fuck, don't put it to sleep. My iPhone is gold, my iPad's gold, I just, I don't know, gold for me is just, I just like getting gold things. 
Like gold shoes. I want gold shoes. I've always wanted gold shoes. Um. I don't know why, I just do. Um, the Sky Top. I mean, not the Sky Tops, the, the Society 2s. They're silver and black. But they don't fit me as well because I've tried them both. They don't fit me as well. So I'm going to get the Sky Tops first. Wherever the hell I can find them. Because there's a shop in Melbourne. Uh, you might be familiar with it if you live here. It's called Culture Kings. Um, it's basically all streetwear. And it's the coolest fucking shop in the world. Because you walk in. It's a two-story shop. Uh, you walk in and there's music just blaring. Like they got the DJs in. Um, it's a lot of this, this very fan servicey to basketball. Like they you got the big screen uh, playing the basketball or playing music videos or whatever. And it's just all, awesome. and it's very, the shop's very open. Like it's not too cluttered. There's a lot of space to walk around and check stuff out. And on the back wall in, on the first level, there is the biggest collection of new era hats in in Australia. Like it's just a massive wall of new era hats. And I love collecting those. I love collecting new era hats. Uh, what do you got to say? Hello there, I've got a deal just for you. I'll let you have a swell magic hat for just 500 bucks. Um, you know what? Fuck you, I'm gonna take it. I'm gonna take it and uh, I am gonna put it away because really, no use for it now, but later on, I will uh, grind, I'll level up, and I'll evolve it. Because I know you can just catch them for free, but I might as well just have it now. It saves me having to go out and catch it. And Butterfree, I'm going to put away uh, for now. Because, like I said, I've got no use for it going forward. So I'm just going to I'm just gonna roll with these three for now. Pidgey, I probably won't use. Um, I'll evolve it, and I'll put that away later on but for now you can just roll with me um, and this episode I might bring to a close so we're coming up on half an hour now like I said I'm gonna keep the episode shorter from now on um, in the next episode we're going to go into Mount Moon and we're going to get through it and get through to the next town hopefully we can get ourselves a badge as well um, until then Hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget the don't forget to give it a like and a thumbs up. Uh, share it around with all your mates. Uh, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Go back and watch some of my other videos. Go back and watch episode one if you haven't watched it already. Uh, follow me on all the socials in the description below, and the links are also on my channel. And I will see you guys in the next episode, Pokemon Yellow. Until then, DY out. Peace.